Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up to help the channel grow. Click the bell icon at the top of the page to get notified when I post a new video. Universal Channeling Channeling the Conscious Universe Blossom Goodchild, Channeling the Federation of Light, June 12, 2022 Blossom Goodchild Good morning. Another week has flown by. Upon chatting with folk, there seems to be a general lull in one's life. A lack of luster. No one sure whether to go ahead and book things or prepare for future events and even if they are, there doesn't seem to be much enthusiasm. I realize this is the aftermath of the last two and a half year debacle. Yet, any signs of encouragement would be lovely. Federation of Light. Welcome Blossom. Welcome to all. Each one that has returned to our continual conversations in order to find themselves. Indeed, that which has taken place over the last few years as you say, has created much upheaval to the mind, body and soul. There is such a fallout effect that does just that, effect. Again, dearest souls, we come to remind you that you are on a journey of discovery. Look how far you have traveled within this short time. Look how your attitudes have changed towards so many possible realities. Although confusing, although concerning as to what happens next, you have grown exponentially within the gatherings of your mind's conundrums, and sorting out for yourselves that which you can find to be the most appropriate pathway ahead. One that suits the self. And therefore, the whole. Blossom good child. Yes. I think it is the uncertainty of not knowing what lies ahead. For instance. Is Fergus the fungus still in the offing? Creating a worldwide lockdown? Is there to be a food shortage? For us, down here, these things are always in the back of our minds, even though we have decided to pay no attention to such matters. Federation of Light. Dearest souls. Yes, there is the possibility of this pending outcome. Blossom good child. Only a possibility? Federation of Light. Yes. Yet, we would like to offer words of consolation. Although, to some, this sounds so brutal a thing to take place. It, if and when it occurs, will without question, in the long term, be for the highest good. Everything about it, to begin with, will appear to be the most outrageous rulings. Yet, as it unfolds, there will appear the most reasonable reasons for this to take place, and it will certainly not be for the reasons that one was initially told. Blossom good child. To be honest, a lot of us feel ready for it. Bring it on. At least then, we would feel that we are moving forward. I know you say a lot is taking place behind the scenes. Yet, for us, there is, as I say, this waiting game, and sometimes the frustration of the wait, leaves us feeling a little in doubt as to whether anything at all is going to happen, in ways that make us feel that at last, our train has pulled into the station. Federation of Light. In your terms of time, we accept this which you speak of. Yet, from our overall view, everything is on cue and falling into place without too many hitches. Blossom good child. Meanwhile, and without meaning to dampen the vibe too much, there has been a great deal of suicides. Souls are unable to cope with the situations they now find themselves in, due to what has taken place. It seems so wrong that this is happening to so many. So many homeless. So many jobless. It's very difficult for many to find joy under such circumstances. Federation of Light. Blossom. All is as should be. Whether you choose to feel the same way about this as we do, is entirely your decision. Yet, in the greater scheme of things, not one thing is out of place. Blossom good child. Deciding not to agree. I could name many things that are out of place. Not necessarily in my life, yet, in the lives of many who are finding it so hard to carry on. Federation of light. Yet, each individual soul is on their individual journey. Each soul is experiencing that, which is allowing their beingness to become stronger. As with many things, Blossom. When coming through to the other side of a particular experience, one can feel the difference in their soul's understanding of self. For those who have chosen to transition at this time, that is also part of their journey. They shall be looked after and comforted and offered ways of understanding that which has taken place for them. Blossom good child. Yes. I get this. It's just different from how we had imagined. Federation of Light. Imagined what Blossom? Blossom good child. This lifting of the planet into a higher vibration. One could never have guessed it would be the way it is. And you say we are still in phase one. Federation of Light. You are. 
This is not an overnight affair. Yet, we ask you to consider the progress that has been made so far. Blossom good child. I am trying to. Could you perhaps remind us? Federation of Light. More and more souls, due to the happenings, are now aware that something on your planet is not right. Blossom good child. Eh? Hey, you think? Federation of Light. Understand Blossom, that once upon a time, these newly awakened souls would have thought it unheard of to question that, which they were being told by those in authority. They have come to realize that those in authority are not necessarily working towards one's greater good, and for them. Such a wake-up call has taken them on a deep journey of the soul and come out the other side, feeling and thinking in a completely different, and certainly a more healthier way than before. For those already awake, they have ventured into deeper rabbit holes and had to decide for themselves, that, which they believe to be true, and that which is not. All in all, an awakening to the real goings-on upon your planet has ventured out into the open now. And that which one is having to comprehend and decide what to do with, without question, has allowed one to walk into higher understandings of who they are. As one is being made aware of that, which is not discussed on your mainstream sources, they have the opportunity presented to them to pull themselves together and fight for what is right. We accept you do not like that term fight. Yet, it brings a strong intonation within the soul's self to gather one's strength and march onwards. This is how you have changed. Greatly. Many of you have come to realize what you are up against, and the necessary need to look deeper into the reason for you being upon the planet at this time. You are connecting up with each other in ways of a united force. You are feeling the power within you that recognizes the same power within others. Which helps you to recall the mission. Blossom good child. It's a mighty mission. To rid the planet of the darkness. Such darkness. Leaving it so light. That it is free to move on up. Federation of light. It is indeed, the mightiest of missions, and you, Blossom, along with all those who came here to accomplish this most exciting miracle, are accepting that you can, and you will. And not only that how. At this time, whilst all seems to be lying dormant, the already in position souls are doing so much from their shining out, from within. They are preparing energies. Blossom good child. Sorry to interrupt. What do you mean by that? Preparing energies? Federation of light. By being and spreading one's light energies. Simply by being one's light energy that you are settling the entire planet. Soothing it counteracting the energies of lower vibrations that are still trying to fight their already lost battle. You are preparing the way for that, which lies before you. Not only for yourself, but for those who shall find you. When everything kicks off. Blossom good child. And I guess, that is what we are getting frustrated about. Waiting for the whistle to blow, so it does kick off. However, we don't know what the kickoff is all about. Would you say the kickoff will be the telling of truths to all? Federation of Light. Yes, Blossom. Yet, there would be the pre-game nuptials, in order for all to be ready and situated exactly where they should be when this news is given out. Blossom good child. Not so sure nuptials is the word you are looking for. Anyway, you see, in my head, I have the way of thinking, as I am sure I have said before. That we all need to be in lockdown in order for us to be told all the truths that have been hidden, otherwise the world will be in uproar and all sorts of traumatic displays will occur. I am assuming too, this is via all screens. Yet, how this would slash could actually be implemented is too huge to consider it to be real. It would have to be so very well detailed, and thought through. Federation of Light. Hence, all the goings on behind the scenes when you think nothing is happening. Blossom good child. I suppose so. Yet, other times, it all seems too unreal to actually take place. Federation of Light. Blossom, with respect, as we have also said before. If somebody, four of your years ago, had told you that the happenings of the last two and a half years were to come about, would you not have felt the same way? Blossom good child. Yep. So, we just carry on making our own lives as joyous as possible and keep on doing that, until we either pop our clogs or something really huge takes place. It just occurred to me that some reading this are going to struggle with us still being in phase 1 of 5. Federation of Light. Yet, as mentioned before, it doesn't mean each phase will be as long as this first one. For once the ball gets rolling there shall be an ongoing flow, would we say. We have also mentioned to enjoy this time of waiting whilst you are able. For when the whistle blows and everything changes gear. 
there will be times when you wish you could go back to this waiting stage, as your light will be needed 24-7. So, this then, dearest ones, is why all this preparation of building strength and light power has been so necessary. You are ready to go. To assist those lost. To guide souls in the direction of understandings. To show the lighted path. To be there for the confused states of being. So much have you been preparing yourselves for in ways of assisting. When the time comes. And it will. Blossom good child. Do I know that for sure? Sometimes I question this entire goings on, and where it's leading. Other times I have to know it because otherwise, what's the point? It is when I connect with like-minded souls that I get strength. We can't all be nutters? I'll close for now. Yet, I might pick up again tomorrow, for some reason. Many thanks to you. Okay, it's now Sunday. I feel I want to continue our chat. Why? Because of exactly what I was talking about. I was dissatisfied with yesterday's content. It's that feeling of ticking the box because you have done what needs to be done. In anything. Yet, not feeling any elation about it. I understand due to my husband's departure into other realms that this could just be me. Yet, I know of others who feel the same, and they haven't experienced such a loss. Down here chaps, the energy seems really strange. I am not sure what I am hoping to achieve by coming back this morning, perhaps a ticking of the box with a sense of purpose. Is it a thing perhaps of weekly chats being too much with nothing new to say? Going on the premise of less is more? I don't know. Let's see if you can lift us up where we belong. Federation of Light. A glorious good morning to you Blossom, and each soul who travels with us on this awakening call. That which we impart Blossom, is given to you from a place of the deepest love. It is that love, which we ask you to feel, to resonate with, to hold within your heart so tightly, that every breath you take is a reminder of that love. This love we offer comes from a place of higher recognition of what is. Yet, this love is who you are. Sometimes, this love can be felt so readily and joyfully and in great understanding of the feeling it imparts within the entire beingness of self. Other times, although this love has not moved position or gone away, for it cannot, there is a lull in one's frequency, and it is unable to be felt to the degree that it is capable of. This of course is due to many controlling factors. Blossom good child. Again, I intercede. Is it all about controlling factors though? I know of all the chemicals that we absorb through various methods, and this lowers our frequency etc., yet, should we always blame that? It can be an easy excuse. Could it be, say for me, I've lost my husband, and purely and simply the magic has gone. And if I want it back, I need to find it? Federation of Light. Do not underestimate that which those of lesser light have imposed upon you. It is in your blood so to speak. That is why you must keep strong. Keep fighting on. Blossom good child. I know. Yet, I do remember White Cloud giving a wonderful talk as December 2012 was looming and he said words to the effect of don't give up now, just when you are so close to the finishing line. That was 10 years ago. And here we still are. Doing our best to be strong, under much more intense circumstances. Maybe I just wanted to chat today because Moaning Mini needed an airing. Hardly uplifting to those who come here to get uplifted. Federation of Light. Then let us change that. Blossom good child. Indeed. Let's. Oh, happy, happy, happy day. The sun is shining. Birds are singing. And here I am with the gift of talking to you. You are the higher dimensional vibration. How blessed am I and all those who come here to get a hit from such wonders. Federation of light. That is more like it. That is what we mean Blossom. To keep on keeping on. No matter how one is feeling. Indeed. Allow some time to assess the mood, yet, if it does not serve. See how quickly it can be changed into a brighter day, from one moment to the next. Consider also, that by connecting with us in this way, all those who stop by are lifted regardless of content because of the high energy that we communicate from. Of course, you understand that we have to lower our frequency somewhat, in order to connect with you Blossom. It is not possible from where you sit, for us to directly engage from our position. The energy would be too strong, too high, and it simply wouldn't work. Yet, we will add, that in all the years we have been known to you. Blossom good child. 17 now. Federation of light. We have increased our level of energy light whilst visiting. As you and those who visit here have increased your level of awareness and light. This is how it works Blossom. 
The more you become the light that you are, the more your vibration rises in frequency and therefore, one's communication barriers become less and less, and that which comes through, does so on a much higher level and therefore, is able to increase the soul's individual vibrational energy, which in turn takes one's being into a more compatible measure to receive that which we share and be accepted from within a higher place of resonance and acknowledgement. Blossom good child. Struth Ruth. That's a bit of a mouthful. Get your chops around that one Joe. Federation of Light. Yet, understood? Blossom good child. Yep. Federation of Light. Dearest souls, dearest friends. Be of hope. We once said it is better to use the word knowing, rather than hope. Yet, if one cannot fully know at this stage. That which is required to know. Then indeed. Hope. That the heartbeat within your being that you are allowing to dictate your days and your ways, is one that shall lead you gallantly forth into the new world. We ask that you do not beat yourselves up for not always being the radiant light that you desire to be. Yet, no. That just by being upon planet Earth you are making a huge difference. Blossom good child. Yet, when we are fed up, and resonating on a lower frequency, I don't see how we are contributing to the greater good. Federation of light. Yet, you are blossom because each one carries a light within. The light of who they truly are. And that light, although feeling dim to you at any given time, is still a light of great knowing. You wouldn't be on your planet doing what you are doing if it wasn't. Remembering too, of dualities. Of opposites. Of. As low as you can feel. The higher you can rise. So much to be offered to the self in ways of the good one is doing. Allow despondency to be removed, and when ready, move on once again into the light warrior. In full throttle. How do you do this? How do you get there? Blossom good child. The mantra. Federation of light. I am the light. I am the love. I am the truth. I am. There is no quicker way to soothe, to strengthen and uplift. Over and over. Say this. Your soul's prayer. In the knowing of who you are. Over and over. Allow its vibrational coding to seep into every cell. Every part of you. Let it speak to you within the silence of the soul. Let it become you. Let its true identity engulf you, and warm your spirits as one would feel the comfort around a hearth's flame. We encourage you to unwrap this gift layer upon layer. For as each one takes you deeper, you understand its brilliance in so many ways that you thought impossible. Blossom good child. That sounds wonderful, and indeed, that is what I shall be repeating all day. I, and those who feel like me, which seem to be many. We'll get there. We won't let you, or ourselves down. Thank you. Thank you, so much. In gratitude. In loving service. I am. Website, blossomgoodchild.com